Hello friends, this is Shravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering by Shravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video, I will explain you question and answer episode number 4. So this is my question and answer episode number 4. So I was selected some random questions in this week. So in this video, I will explain you answers for the respected questions. My first question is when we will consider wind loads for the building. So generally as per IS 875 code, so it is showing that if the height of the building is greater than 10 meter, we need to consider the basic wind speed. So from that point, we need to conclude that if the height of the building is greater than your 10 meter, we need to take the wind load for the respected analysis and respected design nothing but greater than g plus 2 story building so we we need to consider uh, building which is greater than g plus 2 story we need to consider the wind load analysis why because uh, if you observe height of the building for the respected g plus 2 building we need to uh, take the three floors three multiplied by three will give you uh, 9 meter so which is uh, approximately equal to 10 meter so if we consider any one of the floor which is uh, on the g plus 2 building we need to take it as additional floor so we need to take it as fourth floor 4 multiplied by 3 will give you 12 meter which is higher than the 10 meter so as per is uh, 875 code we need to consider the wind load for that respected building so this is my answer for the first question my second question is how to do detailing after getting the results from the stat pro so this is the most frequently asked question in my channel so I will explain you the answer so after getting the results like AST percentage as well as AST requirement for the respected members of beams and column sections we need to calculate the respected values of the reinforcement manually so with the help of manual calculations we need to draw those respected reinforcement values in the AutoCAD software so in the AutoCAD software we need to draw the detailed drawings so if possible in my upcoming videos I will explain you how to convert the data which is related to your StatPro software to AutoCAD software so initially I will calculate the values of the reinforcement depending upon the AST percentage and AST requirement for the respected members so from those uh, calculations uh, I will draw the uh, beam reinforcement values or column reinforcement values so in my upcoming video in AutoCAD software so this is my answer for the second question so third question is how to assign beams and columns if we take different sizes for each floor I will explain you the answer with example let us consider G plus 2 building so we need to construct this respect to G plus 2 building for construction of G plus 2 building we need to consider uh, example of 0 0.35 by 0 0.35 is the column size which is uh, placed in ground story so after that I will assume 0 0.3 cross 0 0.3 is the first story column size so after that I will assume uh, final story column will be consisting of 0 0.23 cross 0 0.23 which is approximately equal to 9 inches cross 9 inches so for the respected ground story beams I will consider it as 0 0.35 cross 0 0.23 is the ground story beams and I will assume next story beams will be consisting of 0 0.3 cross 0 0.23 is the first story beams and second story will be consisting of 0 0.23 cross 0 0.23 for assigning those respected different sizes of columns and beams so initially we need to create the groups for the respected ground story columns and first story columns second story columns ground story beams second story beams first story beams so after creating the groups we need to assign those respected column sizes with the help of these groups names so if possible I will make a video how to create the groups in StatPro software so otherwise you can select those respected members with the help of front view option we need to select all the column members at the ground story initially we need to assign those respected properties with uh, assign to selected beams option assign so after that we need to assign the same procedure for the respected beams also so this is my answer for the respected question my next question is how how do we found uh, proper size of columns and proper size of beams and plate thickness for any kind of the building so this is also one of the most important question I will explain you the answer so as per IS code we doesn't have any uh, exact values for the respected floors so but uh, we need to assume the column sizes as well as beam sizes and plate thickness for the respected slab so I was already explained different sizes of columns for different types of floor so this is only assumption we need to assume those respected values so with those assumption value we need we need to design those respected reinforcement values so if your reinforcement values is uh, correct we can uh, conclude that uh, this is the maximum size of the column for the respected building so if you observe any kind of the errors for the respected design we need to increase the size of the column size of the beam and size of the plate thickness for the respected design so this is my answer for this respected question my next question is error is 1893 load must be defined before any other load cases please rectify so this is one of the most uh, observed error in StatPro software so before uh, analysis of any kind of the building which is related to your seismic loading condition we need to define those respected seismic definition this initially as per the building considerations as well as the problem statement is 
is concerned so after uh, defining those respected values of the seismic zone and uh, soil conditions and uh, response reduction factor and importance value factor which is related to your seismic load so we need to uh, define those wind load calculations also so after defining this respected two load cases we need to add the load case details in the load case details option so before adding those load case details we need to remember that uh, whatever the load cases we are defined in the defined section we need to uh, assign those respected load cases initially so for example we are defining those respected earthquake load initially so after that we are defined with the wind load analysis initially we need to assign those respected two load cases so first one is earthquake load in x direction condition so earthquake load in z direction condition is the second one so after that we need to uh, define the load case details which are related to your wind load case wind load in x direction condition third one fourth one is we need to assign those wind load in z direction condition so after assigning these respected four types of load cases we need to define the dead loading condition as well as live loading condition as well as floor load condition for the respected building so if you observe dead load condition live load condition as well as floor load condition initially before this respected earthquake load as well as wind loading condition so it will observe this kind of error to rectify this respected error we need to assign earthquake load as well as wind loading condition initially in load case details so this this is my answer for this respected question my next question is how to reduce the warnings in stat pro so this is also one of the most important question uh, most of the people wants to know how to reduce the errors by using stat pro software so this type of error will be observed due to presence of two types of reasons due to presence of high intensity of loading condition on the respected building this type of error will be observed so second reason is due to presence of less amount of your uh, properties like uh, beam sizes column sizes as well as slab thickness second reason is if you apply uh, lower sizes of the column sizes or beam sizes or slab thickness this type type of error warnings will be observed so to reduce this respected error we need to uh, increase the sizes of the respected column or beam section or plate thickness uh, so after that we need to check the respected analysis part so in that case we need to uh, decrease those respected values if you observe some more errors for the respected analysis part also so we need to conclude that the grade of the concrete which is nothing but the loading condition for the respected building is higher we need to decrease those respected loading condition nothing but we need to decrease the respected grade of the concrete so this is the two reasons so we initially we need to increase the size of the beam or column to reduce the errors second one is we need to decrease the grade of the concrete to reduce the errors so these are my two reasons for this respected question my next question is what are the parameters we need to consider before designing of a building so this is also one of the most important question so i will explain you clear answer for this respected question so we need to consider some parameters which is related to your building design so initially we need to measure the side dimensions so after that we need to draw the autocad plan for the respected side dimensions or uh, depending upon the customer requirement so after drawing the plan we need to take the center line diagram for the respected column section so first one is we need to take the center line diagram for the column section so so after taking the center line diagram we need to uh, take the soil bearing capacity from the site so we need to collect the sample from the site and we need to test those respective sample in, in gte laboratory we need to take the soil bearing capacity so this is my second factor we need to consider before designing so after that we need to assume the beam sizes as well as column sizes and slab thickness for the respected building so this is my third factor we need to consider before uh, designing of any kind of the building so after that we need to consider the grade of the concrete as well as grade of the steel for the respected building considerations so this is also one of the most important factor we need to consider uh, for designing of any kind end of the building so after that we need to assume the maximum size of the steel as well as minimum size of the steel bar which is related to your building design so these are the five factors we need to consider before designing any kind of the building first one is uh, center to center line diagram second one is soil bearing capacity third one is sizes of the column beam sections as well as the slab thickness fourth one is grade of concrete as well as grade of steel fifth one is uh, maximum sizes of the bar as well as minimum sizes of the bar so this is my answer for this respected question my next question is can you provide how to download etap software i will explain your answer for this respected question so i think i was already done a videos which is related to your uh ETAPS 9.7.4 version as well as uh, ETAP 16 version software. In the description of those respected uh, videos, I was provided the download link. If possible, I will provide a download link in the description of this respected video and, and community tab. So please follow that community tab and uh, description of this respected video for download of ETAP software. So you can download so you can download the software from the description of this respected video or community tab from the respected channel. So this is my answer for this respected question. So my next question is, can you explain us what is the 
load combination. So load combination is nothing but the combination of different types of load cases. Uh, generally, we are considering the dead loading condition, live loading condition, floor loading condition, earthquake load as well as seismic loading condition. So when you're designing any kind of the building, we need to give the combination for the respected design. So I think I was already explained different types of load combinations and how to co take the load combinations for the respected building in my previous section. So I will provide you that respected video link in above cart link and below description of this respected video. Please follow that video. So before uh, designing at any kind of the building, we need to consider the seismic loading condition as well as wind loading condition as the factor of 1.2 as well as 0 0.9, which is related to your X direction condition as well as which is related to your uh, Z direction condition. So after that, we need to consider the uh, factor 1.5, which is related to your dead loading condition as well as your live loading condition. So we have different types of load combinations, which is related to your IS code. So we can uh, consider those respective load combinations for the designing of respected building. So this is my question and answer episode number 4. So if you have any queries about this respected question and answer episode number 4, so please comment me in the below uh, comment box. Thank you.